going in, favor coming out. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. God can bless you in ways you don't understand. Come on. Amen. This will preach if I can get somebody to help me. That's good preaching. I'll tell you, this message right here is something I've lived through. It's something I'm still going through. Praise God. Hallelujah. I remember a few weeks back, the devil got on me. I gave a testimony. <laughs> And I really believe, amen, to God. And I truly still believe God opened the door for that. Hallelujah. Going to see Logan. And I went, praise God, and it all turned out to be no. And it really discouraged me. And I said, Lord, I said, I made a plum fool of myself. Testifying to the church. Putting it, amen, to God on Facebook and all that. Everybody seeing it. And I'm sitting here all week just rejoicing and shouting. And that old devil came to me and said, you made a fool of yourself. And I was feeling small like that. I said, Lord, I said, I just can't, I can't talk no more about it. I can't say nothing else to nobody. Yeah. I texted Brother Billy, and he sent me a comment back. Praise God, that's what we're supposed to do. You did the right thing. Hallelujah to God. It made the devil look foolish. Amen to God. Yeah. Well, I'm going for round two. Amen to God. Because we're supposed to go see him this weekend. Amen to God. Come and I'm telling you, praise God, I believe God opened the door. Oh, and I'm not going to let the devil hit me. Amen to God no more. I'm not going to receive it. Amen to God no more. I don't care. Praise God. God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. Amen, amen to God. Amen. Somebody shout somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It got me to the point to where I just said, Lord, I ain't going to talk no more about it because I'm embarrassed. And the Lord said, don't be embarrassed. Yeah. Pray, you praise me. You testify the goodness I give, amen to God, amen. and the things I do. Don't give up, amen to God. Keep trusting in Jesus. So I, this message right here has is, is been working with me, praise God. I tell you, not to give up, hallelujah. What's going on at the moment is not going to last forever. Come on. Woo, going to hell, hell, hallelujah. hallelujah to the land. Weeping may endure for a night, but the Bible says joy, 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 yes. joy. Somebody hallelujah. say joy. Joy, 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 joy is coming in the morning. I said weeping may endure for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. Yes. And who is the joy giver? It's Jesus, amen to God. Who is the one that speaks peace to the storm? Oh, it's Jesus yes. right now who can calm the troubled waters. Oh, it's yes. Jesus. Praise God. Praise I don't care what you're going through right now. Jesus can walk in the middle of your mess and He can straighten it all up. Praise God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank amen. you, Lord. I don't know about y'all, but this is getting me excited. I'm about to fly away. Amen to God. Praise the Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. we got to understand our condition. If we can understand these things, praise God, that God allows for us to help us grow, I think we would get the point, amen, to God. Come on. And quit giving up. we got to understand, praise God, that God has declared my end from my beginning, amen, to God. Isaiah yeah. chapter 41, verse 26. Amen. I'm going to give you some more right here. Who hath declared from the beginning that we may know and before time that we may say, He is righteous. Oh, somebody say, He is righteous. He is, he is righteous. righteous. Yea, there is none that showeth. Yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is none that heareth your words but God. Amen. Come on. Go to Isaiah 48.3. He says, I declare the former things from the beginning. Amen. And they went forth out of my mouth and I showed them. I did them suddenly and they came to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Let me throw one more at you. Lord. Jeremiah 29.11. This is a commonly used scripture. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Whoa, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen to God for the thoughts God has amen towards to us. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, I know the thoughts I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not evil. To give you an expected end. To give you an expected end. Amen to God. Come to on. give you an expected end. God has got a plan in motion, praise God. So when the devil comes around trying to mess you up, just know God's plan is working for your benefit and His glory. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. This gives me joy and hope right here that God is in control. That God, amen to God, still controls, amen to God, the winds of this world when they blow around me. Come on. When the disciples, amen to God, were on the ship, Brother Billy, praise God, and the storm came about, and Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, he was on the ship, amen to God, and, and they were getting all scared and worried and everything. See, praise God, that'd be just like us. Jesus be right there with us and we get scared and worried. Come on. And all he's saying to do is just call unto him. Yeah. Well, they woke him up and Jesus spoke peace Come on. to the storm. Hallelujah. Amen to God. Hallelujah. He is with us in the middle of our messes. The problems we're going through. We just gotta look to Jesus and he'll speak. Come on. Peace. Amen. To your situation. 
Amen to God. He will do that. Praise God. It excites me to know that he, His thoughts towards us are thoughts of peace and not evil. See, we have mean thoughts towards other people. We have bad thoughts towards our bosses, sometimes our spouses, sometimes our family. But aren't you glad that the God in heaven who created it all, who died at the cross, loves you no matter how you Amen. treat Him? Amen. You know, I told them the other night down there, I said, "Let me." I'm just going to give you an example. What would happen... If God treated me and you the way we treat Him, I'm all, oh my, my. what would happen if God, let's just turn it around, you know how we're supposed to seek the face of God every day. Yeah. What would happen if He sought us the way we sought Him? Yeah. Nothing would get accomplished. Come on. Woo. Amen. Think I'm about great. that. That's Think good. about that, praise God. If we, amen to God, if God treated us the way we treat Him, and gives us just maybe two or three hours a month. I'm all. You know, we pray to Him when things are good, when we want something, when we're selfishly seeking. Come on. That preach right there, selfishly seeking, amen to God. Yeah. When we want something for our own self, amen to God, then we seek God. <laughs> but how many of us, and let's just be honest here, nobody's going to get judged, amen to God, because God knows anyway. Yeah. How many of us, praise God, at times, we just don't really, when we go to Him, we just don't just thank Him like we should. Yeah. That's Amen. everybody. Amen. Praise God. I mean, and you know, it's not it's not to condemn enough. nobody yeah. if you lift your hand. Because we're all guilty of it. Yes, we, we, I know I find myself more going to Him asking Him for things than I do saying, Lord, Amen. thank You. Praise You, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank You for Your mercy and Your goodness. Thank You just for all the, praise God, just... For me opening my eyes another day, on, God. Thank amen. you for the breath you gave me. Hallelujah. I could have died during the middle of the night. I could yeah. have had a heart attack. Come on. Thank you for the job you gave me. Even though it's not the best job, hallelujah. Well, thank you for it, though, because there's people out here today ain't got a job. Yeah. There's amen. people out here homeless. Thank you, Lord, for the, the place you've allowed us to live. It may not be the fanciest, Lord, but Come thank on. you for it anyway. It's a roof over my head. Hallelujah. Walls around me where I don't get wet or get hot or cold. Amen to God. You've provided for me. Come on. And He does this even when you're in the middle of a mess. God will still take care of you. Yeah. Amen. Now, even when you're in the pig pen. Oh, glory to oh, God. Hallelujah. Woo, glory Lord, that will preach enough. Amen. I had to preach that another day. Amen to God. But I'm telling you right now, when the prodigal son got his inheritance and he ran off and squandered in riotous living and the brother stayed back to stay with the father. Yeah. You know, when the, when the prodigal son, you know, and, and the Word never gives his name, hallelujah. I'm just curious. I'd like to ask one day who that, what his name was. I'm just curious about that. I don't know if I ever get the answer or not, but praise God, I'm just curious. Though. When he realized he didn't have nothing left, yeah. he spent it all. Hallelujah. He was in a pig pen. Amen. He was in a mess. Yeah. He had a bad condition, but that condition was going to be turned around. It wasn't going to affect his conclusion. Come on. Because God still loved him. Oh, glory. Somebody shout, amen. 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 See, that's like us. We realize it takes us getting into a pig pen where we stink, amen to God, where we're all stinking up with sin. Our sin is stinking up in the nostrils of God. Come on. Hallelujah. He smelled pretty bad, probably had some... Oh, a uh, pink manure on him, amen to God. Yeah. And he said, I, you know, if I just go back to the Father's house, maybe I can be just a hired help in there. Hallelujah. But what he didn't realize was, oh, I like that song, there's a promise coming down the dusty road, amen to God. Oh. Woo, glory. When the, amen to God, the prodigal was coming down that road and the Father seen him. See, he didn't make him come to him. The Father ran and ran and met him. Oh, I wish somebody get that right now. See, praise God, when we get into a mess, hallelujah to God, and we come on back to God all ashamed, looking like whatever, praise God, God will run and meet us and call us, hey, this was the one that was lost, but now is found. Hallelujah to God. He's alive forevermore. Let's just rejoice about it, praise God. Amen. And God will do that when you come back to Him. Yeah. Woo, go over to God. This is good. Amen. Come on. God. I'm feeling it all over again. Hallelujah. I want to get back down and pray another hour. Come on. Thank you, Lord. It gives me peace to know that God is in control of things and that He won't leave me. He promised I'll never leave never thee nor forsake yeah. thee. He said, I will comfort thee. I will not leave thee comfortless. Amen. Come on. Praise God. That's why, see, Jesus, that's why in the physical He had to ascend up so He could send the Holy Ghost down so He could get into us. 
dwell in this temple. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, we assemble ourselves together in this building, but the church is us and Jesus is the head. Amen. Hallelujah. Go over to God. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17 declares, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the oh, glory. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. No matter what hell brings against you, come on, it's not going to prosper. Amen. Now that's the promise from the Word of God, because first off, that's the heritage of us being, amen, to God, children of the Most High God. Amen. Amen. See, we were Gentiles born into God's family. Amen to God. He Amen. loves us just as much as He does the Jews. Amen. I thank God for that. Praise God. I'm a king's kid. Go over to God. I like that song. Praise God. Laverne Trip Pro. All the riches of the kingdom are mine. Amen to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Understand that a condition is a weapon that the enemy forms against you, but it will not prosper according to the Word. Amen? Come on. So no matter what's going through, what you're going through today, praise God, just stand back and see the salvation of God. Amen? Come on. Amen. Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. Amen? Come on. So just look at it this way. When you're going through something, thank God for it. Because yeah. God is molding you. He's building you up. Your faith is increasing. Amen to God. Amen. You're getting stronger. Amen. You're growing. You're maturing in God. See, when you mature in God, you can, amen to God, use these things and not be like the children who don't know much. Amen to God. Who are still childish on the milk of the Word. You get to maturing in God. You'll be eating the meat of the Word. Praise God. And then the devil, amen to God, he won't be, amen to God, coming at you because like, hey, they know, praise God. They know the Word of God. They know what to do. Hallelujah. To get rid of me. Yeah. Hallelujah. So no matter what comes at their way, they know that God is going to get the glory from it and they're going to go through. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is a good time for everybody to just shout Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. I love this right here. This is a good one if you're going through something. And He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Glory to God. Amen. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. This is Paul talking here. That the power of Christ may rest upon me. How many of us can honestly say we glory in our infirmities? Come on now. Honestly, somebody would think we have nothing if we said we do. Come on. But Paul is saying here we need to glory yeah. in our infirmities. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecution, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I'm strong. Come on. When you praise God, get at the end of yourself, and God takes over, my goodness, you had not seen, praise God, what's going to happen. Go over, be to Come God. On. Thank you, Jesus. You ain't seen nothing to you see what God can do. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So that way you can't give up. You've got to keep on marching and moving onward and upward, for the kingdom of God is on a forceful advance. Amen. We're taking dominion. Over the darkness. <clears throat> Praise God. Tearing down the works Come on. of the enemy's hands. So you can gladly say, my condition, praise God, is not my conclusion. Yeah. Look Amen. at your neighbor and say, praise God. I've got an expected end because God said it. An expected end. God said it. Amen to God. And another thing we've got to keep doing today is we've got to keep praying. We've got to keep Come seeking on. the face of God. Amen. Look back at verse uh, 2 and 3 in 2 Kings 20 here. It said, then he turned to he, he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. This is Hezekiah. 